Hello, Laker community. It's great to be back with our fifth episode of the Lakers Together. Today we have Michelle Rhodes, our AVP for Financial Services, and I'm just really excited that Michelle is here with us. She has a heart for students and a mind to be able to uh, take us forward with the right distribution of aid to so many who need it in the middle of this COVID crisis and prolonged economic conditions. So Michelle, how did you get into financial aid? I really just kind of stumbled into it. When I graduated from college, I knew I loved to work with numbers. I knew I loved to work with students. So it seemed to mix right together and found myself as an adjunct financial aid counselor in financial aid. Worked there for a couple of years at Grand Valley here and then moved into a associate registrar position. And then a few years after that was able to become the director of financial aid um, and now the AVP for financial aid. So I kind of fell into it, but I've loved every minute of it and love my time in enrollment development here. In a typical year, you'd be dealing with the needs of about half of our students. This year, it's very different. Just talk a little bit about how you've been dealing with COVID. What's the level of need and what's the level of response that we've been able to offer? As in the past, many students and families could plan for college. They could plan for some of their expenses. And COVID impacted everyone differently, as we know from the very beginning. So we really tried to have an open mind when um, talking with students and families. What seemed to be a hardship for one family was different than a hardship for another family. Students identified themselves to our office that had never felt the need to contact financial aid ever before because they had their plan. And it, that COVID definitely disrupted employment for students, employment for parents. And you know, we're still continuing to um, take some of those phone calls and deal with those situations. We want to make sure students can continue here, and that's our motive from now and our focus. The kinds of resources and the kinds of numbers you and your team are so capably dealing with, can you, can you just give us some insight on that? Right when COVID happened, we received some funding from the Department of Education, the CARES funding. And one of the things institutionally we decided to do is go out with an application um, supported by yourself and senior leadership team, which was great because we could very much individualize the information we were getting from students and help them. So within two to three months, we received over 10,000 applications from our students and we individually processed those and looked at them. And that was, you know, an extra on top of preparing for spring summer, awarding the several thousand students that received spring summer aid. How much uh, university funds and federal hardship funds collectively did you distribute and to how many of those 10,000 applicants? As of right now, we have distributed the $9.1 million we received for the first half of the CARES funding uh, to just over 7,000 students. And we're continuing to process the rest of the applications and respond to students, but we still are absolutely ready and willing to help. And as the students identify, we respond to them. So the most important message is really they need to reach out to you and identify that they have been impacted either by COVID or the economic fallout that has been a part of COVID and uh, get some help directly from you. Yes, that is absolutely true. Right on our website in the upper left corner is, you know, the big box that says hardship funds. And so, you know, we have a few steps that they can go through filing the free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA. And once again, knowing that income from that FAFSA is from a few years ago, and that has definitely changed for many families. We have what we call a special circumstances process, which is highlighted there. And then once again, the grant assistance hardship request that is highlighted there that's available for anyone to apply for and tell us a little bit more about why they might be struggling, how COVID has impacted them from what we can't see on paper. We always can't see everything based on paper. Mm -hmm. So we really need to hear from them directly yeah, and one thing that students worry about is that they may not qualify, right? And so some of these processes I know you streamline very, very well. And also, they shouldn't worry about that, right? I mean, they should, they should come forward with their issue and let us see if we can help. We have different, uh, different places where we have money to help all sorts of our students. Um, it's not limited to certain ones. It's not limited to only need-based aid, it's not limited to only merit-based aid. So if they have a concern or a question, they should reach out. 
One of the things I love about Grand Valley is how many student workers we have everywhere because everybody gets to know our students. So are we going to be able to support that kind of environment uh, going forward? Uh, what's student employment like now? As we approach the fall, we've been thinking about ways to make sure we're communicating with supervisors, letting them know we, we still are ready to hire students. We've also been um, talking about some new initiatives, and one of them you're involved in with the SE Plus, and creating new opportunities for students who may have you know, lost out on some high impact practices and wanting to make sure that they can actually get those now at Grand Valley. So some of that information is coming um, on our website and more information will be released about that coming in the fall, the next few months. Thank you so much for protecting um, student employment. I wanna be sure and in thanking you for the wonderful work you do. I'm also thanking your staff who's been amazing to be able to handle the usual volume and then doubling, tripling the process of looking at special circumstances. So our gratitude for all you're doing. Yes, yeah, thank you. The staff has been tremendous. I know we've had a lot of new work and we always just take it in stride and it's been great, but my staff is wonderful. So I'd like to thank them as well because they've been great. Great, thanks Michelle. <music>